Hey and welcome back to Vita vs 3DS. One prevailing comment I got in my YouTube review for the PlayStation Vita was why would I use my PlayStation Vita to watch YouTube videos when I could simply use my phone? Uh, this didn't resonate with me a lot because at the time I was locked into a contract with a Blackberry. Uh, it wasn't a very good phone and YouTube videos run really, really bad on it. They run in extremely low res and they skip all the time. And it's just not a good platform to watch YouTube videos on. So Vita was tremendously better at, uh, at that. Fortunately, my contract is up and as you can see here, I have a new phone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, as this is one of the top of the line phones on the market, I wanted to use it as a comparison to see the viability of what those comments imply. And what I felt that those comments imply was that YouTube is always better on a phone. So uh, what better phone to show off or to test that theory uh, than the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So um, this, is gonna, this video is going to have three steps. The first step, we are going to look at how both of their browsers handle the non-mobile version of YouTube, the non-mobile site. Uh, the second step will uh, show how they work with the mobile site and ha what, how they manage to function with that. And the third step will compare the apps for both PlayStation Vita and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So first we're going to start off with um, running the non-mobile site in the browser. So it's already pre-baked on both. Um, this is, of course, I've already logged into my account. This is the, the non-mobile, the desktop version. Neither device supports Flash, so you can't simply uh, run it like you would on a PC. Uh, on Vita, if you were to launch a video, like let's say launch this one here, what it's going to do is try to load it like it would on a PC. But of course it's going to say that the Flash player doesn't work. Uh, you don't need to upgrade, update your HTML5 or a Flash player or whatever on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, pressing the same video is going to launch the mobile version of um, the site, which runs on this phone. Um, it doesn't launch the desktop version. So uh, yeah, that's basically the difference in how they run it. They both can't run the full uh, site, but they can both browse it and you can you know browse your statistics or uh, your account uh, like you could on a computer on, on both pretty well. Uh, so anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try to launch the mobile site on both. For which I have to scroll all the way to the bottom. And right here is the mobile version there. And on Vita, to go even farther because for some reason more videos loaded. And we're going to get that nice and big over here so we can see this. Alright, so we're launching the mobile version on both right now. There we go. So this is the mobile version on both, and basically, again, it's uh, pretty identical. Um, you have, you know, your layout with your videos coming straight down. Um, the difference, and you, of course, you have on the side here your subscriptions and stuff, you know, which pops up, and you have all the same options. Um, the difference between the sites is that the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 actually runs the videos. So if I were to press this video here, it's going to open up the, win the in the browser uh, a window and run it. Uh, it doesn't seem to run it, like it has an HQ sign for high quality, but it's not great. It doesn't even look HD. I can see the grain in it. It's not a very good video. Uh, I'm not going to show it off in, in, in this video because, uh, you know, like the, the Vita actually can't even do it at all. Uh, if I were to press it on Vita, what the Vita does is that it launches um, the, its YouTube app. To, to run off the mobile site. So if I were to click a video here, it would launch the YouTube app. Uh, I'm not going to do that on either system just because I'm going to launch the apps at the same time to show the startup time on both. So anyway, so that's how they run things here. So we're going to go back. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch the YouTube apps at the same time. So the first thing we're going to look at in the YouTube app comparison is the startup time. So how fast the app boots up and uh, and shows you know the main page. So. Three, two, one. And the Note 2 is done before the Vita, and Vita should be coming shortly. Here it is. So Note 2 does boot up a little quicker. So this is what the interface looks like. The Note 2 right away shows these, you know, wide pictures, huge 
uh, you know, big icons for, for the videos. The Vita shows smaller icons, but more of them, and you have your interface right here, which you can get on the note by sliding it. So it's pretty much the same thing. All of the options you, you have on one are on the other. Um, you know, you have all your channels here, which you can scroll on the Vita, all your channels here, which you can scroll on uh, the note. You do have some other options on the note at the bottom here, like recommended, trending, live, autos, comedy, like all sorts of genres and things like that, uh, that you don't have in the Vita app, but I don't find my, I don't find that very important because I don't browse random videos in the YouTube app. I tend to look for my subscriptions, which I subscribe to, and they're all here on both. Um, Vita has recommended, uh, over at the bottom here, Vita has recommended uh, search history, and what's this over here? Favorites, uh, which you can access your own channel, um, which you could also access um, through this app here. Um, you know, you have your recommended, you can access your own stuff like your favorites, your history, your uploads, if you click on, on your own channel there. So we're gonna go back. All right, let's hold up that app again, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're, you know, they, so, so, you know, for all intents and purposes, the, the interface is the same on both. It's a little smoother on the Note than on the Vita. A little smoother, but, you know, uh, I actually prefer the way the Vita does it with the smaller icons. I don't like these big, large uh, icons that only show three at a time, which I have to, you know, facilitates, facilitates a lot of scrolling. Uh, I actually prefer how, it, I prefer how it's set up on Vita. I prefer how it runs on the Note 2. So what, right now we're going to load a video and uh, we're going to load, uh, how about this match video here? Um, let's see. Try the same one. Here we go. We'll load these two at the same time. And we're going to see which one loads faster. So we're going to count down to 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, and hit it. And we're going to turn our note 2 sideways so it comes up. So the Note 2 loaded it first, Vita loaded it second. So we're gonna try to play these at the same time. Not bad. Are you ready? Okay, so let's try to turn this down a tad. All right, so, you know, um, we're gonna do a full picture comparison right now. I'm gonna split the screen in half to get a better view of what both look like. But as you could see, um, the uh, note loaded the video quicker. It did load it just a tad quicker. So before we go to the split screen to check the quality, I just wanted to check how quickly it could skip. So what we're gonna do is we're on the note, we're gonna skip to about here. On the Vita, we're gonna skip to about here. And when I let go, they should load. Three, two, one. Okay, they're both about the same. So note two does load faster. They skip about the same time. Uh, so right now we're going to do a little cross comparison between the two systems just to show off the video quality a little better. Now you should notice right away that there isn't a huge difference in quality, even though that the Galaxy Note displays in Full HD and the Vita only displays a 544p. This is because anything beyond 544p on 5 inch devices is kind of overkill. You're entering a point of diminishing returns. Um, so as you can see they both look pretty good. The contrast is a little better in the Note. Uh, the sharpness is, is also better in person, but it's going to be difficult to see unless this is really full screen. You're going to notice here that the Vita does stutter a little bit, as they're both the same here, and the Vita is going to stutter about right here for a little while, and then it's going to try to catch up, so it's going to be a little bit more behind than it was. So, you know, that is an anomaly that doesn't happen very often in, in uh, the Vita. Of course, it's going to happen in this video. Uh, it does happen sometimes in the Note as well. I didn't notice one skipping more than the other. But overall, you should notice the Note has better contrast, better colors, uh, slightly and a, it's a little bit sharper. So as we just saw the higher resolution screen and the higher quality uh, OLED screen of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is just produces a better cleaner sharper image than the Vita does. Not by much mind you. The Vita does quite hold its own. Uh, it does uh, display 720p, it does download or, or run 720p videos off YouTube, but of course it downscales them to 544p, the resolution of the Vita, uh, while this runs true, you know, HD videos, which is which is really great, and worth, which is the main difference of what you saw in that comparison. Um, so in terms of video quality, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 takes it. So 
with regards to the overall, like overall, my opinion of them is, is, is this, you know, what loads faster, what runs better, and uh, what looks better is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. But it doesn't win by much in every category. Sure, it looks better, but it doesn't look that much better. Sure, it runs better, but it doesn't run that much better. Uh, they're very comparable. The Vita does take the organization category. I like the fact that I don't have to slide this out. I like that this is here all the time. Uh, I like that I can actually see four videos uh, at once while I'm scrolling, not just three. Uh, there's no reason for them to be this absurdly big. Um, with a nice big display that this has, there's no reason for these things to be that big. Uh, so I do prefer the way Vita's organized. Um, on both of them, I forgot to mention that when you're running a video, uh, I also like the fact that... This is going to run... Uh, these videos again. Uh, for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, the only way to comment and uh, like videos is to turn your phone vertically, like uh, like this. You can you know like or dislike or check the views and check your you know other things that go on here. Um, you have to turn it vertically. You can't do it when it's horizontally at all. You have no way to do that. You have to you actually have to shrink it down to do it. On Vita, you can just give it a quick pinch, and boom, you know, you have your, you can like or dislike, you can comment, you can, you have your information, you have everything. Everything that's available here is on the Vita, but just with a quick pinch, and you can hold, you don't have to turn it vertically, which kind of interrupts the playing experience if you're flipping around your phone, so I do prefer that. So, it's, um, pretty much for me, uh, which one I prefer watching it on, um, I'm kind of an image whore and I prefer like, you know, I like the cleaner image of the Note 2 so I can see myself using that more. But, you know, the organization and the way the Vita's set up I do find is superior. I like being able to pinch the screen, I like having, you know, um, uh, the way it's laid out. You know, layout is not to be underestimated and definitely, you know, it has, it is a little more cumbersome to, uh, you know, the layout is a little more cumbersome on the Note 2. So anyway, that's my comparison. Um, again, just to wrap it up, cleaner image, faster load times, and uh, smoother, you know, operation on the Note 2, and the Vita has better organization and a better layout. So that's that. Um, I am going to be doing more comparisons. I'm going to compare their Netflix apps. I'm going to compare their Facebook apps. I'm going to compare their Twitter apps. So you can look forward to that too. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.